What's going on guys? Ebibs here, Mr. Remote Life. So I got a good one for you today. We are installing another ceiling fan, but this one is a dope one. Thank Mrs. Remote Life for that one. If you want to go ahead and give us some love down in the comment section, guys. But we are installing the HGHC XLST. It looks like this. So let's get it going. All right, so check it out. This is your normal uh, fan from China. This is all they give you. These are your instructions that you're given. So that's why we do videos like this. Uh, it really is no instructions at all. Uh, but this fan is pretty cool. It has like the built-in lights and integrated fan because this room is like, uh, I would say it's a 10 by 10, it's a square. So it might be 12 by 12 or 10 by 10 with your normal uh, spec home bedroom sizes or whatever. Cool thing about this is it's the nice, it's the nice brass, um, not that shiny stuff, but it doesn't really appear as gold. I don't know how it's coming off on camera, but it's the nice little muted brass is not, it's not uh, matte, but it's kind of like a brush brass. So this is the kind that Miss Remote Life likes to rock with. So that's what we're gonna go with on this space. So uh, let's get this thing unboxed and let's roll, getting this thing up in the ceiling. So like you guys always know, uh, comes with a little remote that you got to pair. So we'll go through the pairing process and make sure that's covered in this video. So what we're going to do, you guys let me know in the, in the comments below. Um, we're going to time lapse this whole thing. If you guys want slower videos. Or well, if you want faster videos with the time lapse and then we can compress everything, make everything shorter and do shortcuts and then just boom, Snapchat or not Snapchat, but <laughs> snap cut to things um, that we progress. And of course, we're always going to have down in the bottom, we're going to have the little chapter markers. But uh, you guys let me know if you want to see me go through the whole process or you want to see the time lapse and then I'll show you how to do the more technical things like as far as how to mount it and stuff like that. Let me know. So, in unwrapping this thing, the first thing you see is it's on your two wire ins installation. So, that second wire that's on your, or that second switch that's on your light switch that you can control and uh, divide the between the fan and the light alone, you cannot do that on here. You would need an additional wire. So, this is going to be power and ground only. Um, so, I'm sorry, it's like, it's more like power and, uh, and load. But it's a two wire setup, so you're not going to have be able to do the fan separate from the lights you have to use the remote control all right y'all so just so. like before um you want to make sure you prep your box ahead of time this box actually has we got lucky this box actually has a stud in the middle of it so um so all we really have to do is mount this to the box and we got lucky we don't actually have to overlap anything because it it fits right onto the box so um like i was saying before we only we're, we can't use a three wire system on this one, so we already folded back the black line. So we're going to be using the white and the red on this one, and then your ground typically just grounds to your uh, down rod. So uh, let's get this thing up.
right, so here's a crazy turn of events. We are missing the controller, this thing, um, that makes this thing work on the fan. So, um, it's gonna turn into a troubleshooting video. So, I'm gonna let you guys follow along and see what I do to get a replacement. Because uh, I don't know how long this fan's been sitting in storage, so I'm pretty sure I can't send it back. Um, but what we can do is we can improvise. So let's get it done. Come on. 72 hours later. All right, guys, it's a new day. We got our part in uh, the universal controller. So we're going to get this thing hooked up and go ahead and get this project finished. So all that's in this thing is the uh, the missing controller piece. And it hooks up the same way. Um, cool thing about it is it actually comes with some instructions. So um, also we did, as you saw before, we selected the actual device that... Uh, that has a control on the wall, so we're not even really gonna, we're not even gonna use that uh, remote control that came with it, so because we have the controls right down the wall. And what I was also able to do is pick up a Lutron smart smart plug. So we have, so what I'm gonna do with that is uh, I'm gonna program that because we had a Caseta going through this home um, for the lamp that you can control with the, the basically it's a an outlet you control with a switch. We're gonna put that on the smart switch. So that way basically it's on and off and we can automate this room to automatically have that lamp come on and off certain times of the day or certain automations or certain triggers or whatever. So uh, I thought it would just be a cool idea to just throw that on. Or if I wanna change it out, we can actually just plug up some LED lighting or something like that. But for now, we're just gonna use it on the lamp. But until then, let's go ahead and get this thing installed. Let's do it. All right, y'all, so with this one, um, cool thing about the diagram is uh, it actually shows, so your red and white are your power lines coming in. Uh, and then this side, your blue, black, and white is actually you're gonna be going, what's going to the fan. So, uh, and I keep calling this a controller, it's actually a receiver. Uh, and the remote control is what goes into the wall. But the receiver is what sits up here above the fan. Um, we already said we we're gonna use the red, so it actually is gonna line up. So we got the red and the white with the red and white. And then we carry that ground down for the receiver, I mean for the fan. And then let's get this receiver in place. All that does is sit up here like this, but let's actually, let's turn it this way because this is our, also for the, where the ball sits. So when we push, push that up, we want to actually have access to flip that up like that. Um, what we'll do is reposition this ladder. So um, this is pretty simple and straightforward. If you don't drop it all over the place. Um, <laughs> you have your, you wanna drop in your, you drop in a few things. So you have your hanger so that covers everything here. Wow, it's damn it. That's pretty ugly. Um, and then you have your bell cover. And this is just for beautification purposes. <laughs> um, man, that grommet is tight. There we go. So that's basically how you want to set it up. And then you want to route your cables up through it. Don't matter which side they pop up on. I just turn it. To orient it right, and then you just take your cotton pin out. Don't drop it like I just did and lose it. Drop the pin back in, lock that in place, slide that puppy down, and then 
All you got to do now. So the cool thing about this fan is it only has two wires or well, three wires if you include the ground. Um, there you go. Whoa, Nelly. Boy, we're about to crash and burn out this joint. All right, like I was saying, this wire, <laughs> this fan only has two wires, what, not counting the ground here. Uh, you just have, and it's actually labeled for fan, and then this is actually for your light. So if you follow the instructions of your remote control here, I'll enlarge this. You have motor neutral or motor load. So if you cover back to this little uh, diagram here, This says load is black. So all we have is, huh, there's no light. There's no light wire. So how are we gonna control that light? That is a good question. So let's try some stuff out. We're gonna throw the we're gonna throw the blue wire on the on the white and the black wire on the black. Make sure black is load. Black is load. All right. Or you know what? It may be integrated. Let's uh let's follow the wiring diagram first. And if we need to troubleshoot, we'll troubleshoot. All right, so we left the blue dangling and we followed the wiring uh, guidelines. So let's kill some power in here and get this, uh, get this plug installed, the switch controller installed and see if we can talk to this, get this thing talking. All right, so we got our screws off and uh, this is what your normal three face plate was. So this is a red wire. Ah, this is your red wire. This is your black wire. This is the wire that we're actually gonna configure for um, automation or caseta. Um, and we have a little wall plate. So it will basically take the one that we doesn't that we don't use doesn't and. Uh, the other two are actually squares. So uh, let's get these things out of here. This is a cool little plug. So you have your high, medium, low fan off and then your light switch. And then you have your on off, which is kind of cool. So um, basic lighting, you're hot and you're, you're, you're hot and you're, uh, your low wire and then your ground. So uh, it also gives you a little diagram here on the side. So this one, over communicates with how you should wire this up and everything else does not on these fans. Tell I got on a different shirt. We ran out of sunlight, um, but we actually uh, messed up on the wiring, so we're gonna fix that. Uh, I went to plug it up, and fan didn't come on, nor did the light, and our power didn't uh, 
didn't fire up on the on the smart switch. So now obviously that means we wired it backwards. So now let's go ahead and fix that, make that correction because we ain't in the hiding nothing, we in the correcting stuff and doing it the right way. So let's get it done. So we got our wiring right, but maybe it's the bulb. Turn the switch on here. All right, so here's what we found out. Um, we need to switch it back out. The controller that's in the light switch port so we're going to put in basically a simple two pole switch and that should solve our issue um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to close this video that's it for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys learned something so uh this is the model number of this fan if you want to pick it up it cools great uh it does not do a reverse it only blows one way, uh, which is typically how a lot of these Fandelier type uh, fans are. They only blow one way, and that's just that blow air down doesn't pull air up. So you can't reverse the fan blades. Uh, you do need smaller bulbs. It's the uh, the E27 size bulbs, uh, and I recommend you don't use LED. So we're gonna do just like daylight fluorescent or your daylight standard. Uh, filament bulbs not even fluorescent it's the daylight filament bulb so we're going to put go grab a couple of those from Lowe's it takes four so you need four of those and then we're going to grab us a two pole switch and what I'll do is I'll give you guys some footage of how the fan looks after it's all said and done so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button guys because we got more stuff like this coming your way we got more tutorials more just doing it for yourself by yourself and we are out of here peace